Hey CJ, do you know what a crostini is? A crostini? I've never heard of a crostini. It's just a fancy way of saying toast. I wasn't gonna guess that. <laughs> We're gonna grill some peaches. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Just go somewhere. Charlie, go, go. Charlie! Shh, you gotta be quiet. You gotta be We're gonna grill some peaches so they get all sugary and caramelized and gorgeous. A little bit of goat's cheese, some arugula, and a balsamic glaze with a little bit of prosciutto. Prosciutto? Crostini and some prosciutto, it's gonna be I delicious. I like it a lot. Was I doing Cuban? Food? I don't know. I don't know. so hot, but one of the fun things about cooking outside is you get to be outside. Love it. But you gotta deal with it. It's sweaty. So, we've been filming all day now. Mm. And it's coming to that time where I just wanna eat. We're shake and bake, bruh. <laughs> so let's get to a really fun appetizer. You guys can do this at the beginning of your party, so while you're cooking the rest of your meal, your uh, guests could have something to eat while you're still cooking. So we're gonna do a grilled peach with prosciutto, a little crostini on some grilled Ooh, baguette. crostini. Crostini. I like a crostini. That's a fancy way of saying, you know, toasted, sliced. Okay, got a baguette. My next question. A baguette. A baguette. I, I have no idea what that means. It's just we're gonna toast some bread, we're gonna add some grilled uh, charred, um, grilled charred pear. Grilled charred pears. Peaches. <laughs> Grilled charred peaches with some uh, crumbled goat's cheese, a little awesome prosciutto, and just a little bit of arugula and a balsamic glaze. It's gonna be wonderful. Let's jump right in. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, slice up some, actually, I'm gonna have you do this. Mark. Good. We're gonna do like one inch uh, diagonal cut. Here, let me do the first one. Yeah. And then you can follow. Here we go. So uh, one of the things when you're grilling bread, if you grill it, I'm um, sorry, if you cut it too thin, when you grill it, it'll end up being like a cracker by the end. So you want it to be thick enough to be charred and crispy on the outside, but still a little soft on the inside. Yeah, so we're gonna cut just some nice diagonals just like that. I'm gonna grab a peach while you're doing that. Okay. We're gonna cut nice big segments of our peach. Yep. You ever grilled peaches before? I have never grilled anything but pineapple. Oh, pi pineapple's fun. Oh, pineapple's. I think we have some pineapple. We should do that too. We we'll do. do that later. Yeah. I'm just gonna uh, to cut some nice little wedges out of this, and we're gonna drizzle some olive oil and add some salt and pepper in just a minute. Ooh. This is a really fun one because it, it goes really fast. Uh, it's really quick and easy to do, uh, and it's really, really delicious. I mean, these are really uh, basic techniques too. Like, you know, you got, you're grilling your salt and pepper, your olive oil, cool, and then you grill meat or right. chicken or whatever. Kind of peaches. all just works the same. Yeah, it does, and it is beautiful. So I'm gonna drizzle a bit of olive oil over my peaches. Mm-hmm, and flies. Get out of here, flies. I'm gonna do uh, salt and pepper. And that's pretty much it for the peaches. I'm gonna rub both sides, get some of that olive oil on both sides. The olive oil is gonna help your peach not stick to the grill. Mm. It's also gonna flavor it and help the natural sugars come out on the grill grate and get sweet, uh, sweeter and charred and, and kind of caramelized little pear, nice. peach. I keep saying pear. Maybe we should have done pears. Maybe it's a sign. Ah. Sign, sign. A sign that we've been in the sun too long. <laughs> it's heat exhaustion. That's it. Stroke. Boom. Okay, so we're gonna go right into the hottest part of our grill with our um, peaches. Huh? Ah. Our peaches. And we're gonna let them get nice and charred. That's this a won't pair take, of peaches. This won't take long. Dude, it was okay. a pair of peaches. That was terrible. You're killing me now. So this will literally, literally take maybe 60 to 90 seconds per side. So we don't wanna go too long. Sweet, just like that. Uh, and I'm gonna do the same thing with our bread. We're gonna drizzle some olive oil. You wanna grab that olive oil? I would love to. You can cap your finger over the tip and you don't get quite as much. Earl. Go for it, okay. all the surfaces. Yeah, yeah, you go a little tougher with it. Oh, yeah, tougher. yeah, now you're looking, you're looking solid now. You know why that whole chef thing, when they do stuff so high, it's like, you think they're yeah, making like, a joke? No, you know why? That's actually, uh, you should. Why? Because you get more surface area, you cover oh, more surface area. that actually makes sense. You know, like if you're with salt, like when I'm down here, the salt just hits that one little spot, but if I'm here, yeah, so it just falls. Everywhere. Yeah, you try it, do the pepper. Hmm, okay. Chef move, chef trick. Mm. Can I do the band That's thing, or is that like yeah, a Emerald? Yeah, well, well. A little exaggeratory just a touch. up here. So I'm gonna throw these on the hottest part of the grill as well. Let's give our, mm. let's give our peaches a flip real quick. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, you see those beautiful lines? That's what we're talking about. Let's give all these a flip. 
let them crisp up just a bit more. Hey, Siege, you want to grab the rest of that uh, bread and throw it over here? I'm I'll scoot over. I'll make you some room. Let's, uh... Let's put them right here on this side. Yep. All right, we're going to let our peaches caramelize just a bit more. Let our bread toast. And then we're going to assemble our gorgeous little appetizers. All right, our peaches look absolutely perfect. Let's get them. Here we go. We got our bread. Let's go right here on our little serving Ooh. dish like that. You like that, CJ? Yeah, I do. It's pretty, huh? Yeah. So we're going to start just like that. We got room for one more in here. Beautiful. I'm going to let those peaches toast just a touch more. We're going to come over here and we are going to add some of our other fun, delicious ingredients. I've got a little bit of arugula. You ever had arugula before? I have, as a matter of fact. It's delicious. Uh, why don't you grab some of that prosciutto? Okay. So throw down some arugula, and then put some prosciutto right over top of the arugula. So should I rip it or just keep yeah. it whole? Yeah, yeah. Rip, okay. rip some little pieces off. Yeah, this is the fun part. You just get to be all rough with it and make your food look really beautiful the way you want it to. Just like that. Arugula, if you've never had it, it's a very peppery, uh, savory green. It has a ton of flavor. There you go. That looks good. Cool. Here, switch sides with me. Okay. Cool. Now I'm going to come on this side with a bit of crumbled goat's cheese. Just a little bit here. Um, Wrapping it up. Bam. Beautiful. Dude, you want to do the peaches? Okay. All right, hang on. We'll take this whole thing over with us. You got your tongue, your peach tongs? Mm. Oh, those are the pear tongs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, bring them over here. I'll grab it. Okay. You, uh, you're gonna do the honors. Put one piece of delicious peach right over the top. Yeah, do the small ones. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There we here go. you go. Nice. I'll make this look easy. <laughs> one more? Good amass. Hey, no. Come on now. Oh, oh yeah, gorgeous. That's wicked looking. Now the last little bit, which I absolutely love, got a spoon of the balsamic glaze. Now, uh, if you want to make your, your own, if you want to make your own, you basically just take a little bit of balsamic vinegar and reduce it down, uh, reduce it down until it's nice and thick, like a like molasses mm. or maple syrup. Just really, really pretty. Now we're gonna take a spoon and shake this spoon. Got ready? Remember that move we're talking about being nice and high. Yep. Yep, nice and high, up off the board, and just let it fall. You get gorgeous. Let it run over the side of the. All the beautiful ingredients. It's crazy, right? It's awesome. What are you thinking watching this? Excited about it? I'm gonna eat that. Like I want that. I want that. That's what I want. There you go, it's that easy. Super simple, just really great, fresh, delicious flavors. Great food and great drinks. It makes a party. Makes, makes for makes a, party. a party. Makes a I'm pretty sure the web series a, is called It's, it's, it's a, a Party. It's a party! It's a party. <laughs> <laughs>